Here are six tips for using the quad crasher. Presented by Fortnite Master. This week's guide is a little more lightweight than previous weeks. If you have an idea or topic you'd like to see explained in a future guide, drop a comment down below. For next week, we're going to analyze a full game replay with commentary, as many have requested. Going back on the topic, in this video, we'll give some tips for getting the most out of the new quad crasher vehicle, whether it's flying through the air for a sick trick shot, crashing through structures, or making insane rotations, quad crashers are a great tool to have in a lot of situations. Now, let's briefly explain the mechanics before getting into the more specific tricks for the quad crasher. The quad crasher seats two people. The person on the back can aim the full 360 degrees, shoot, and heal while riding. It has a total of 400 health and is destroyed when that health is depleted. They make a lot of noise too, and it's possible to hear them coming from a good distance away. It's very hard to take fall damage normally on the quad crasher, even when you whiff your landing, and when you do, it's typically not a lot of damage. The one exception is if your quad crasher is destroyed mid-air or from the impact of landing, in which case you are likely to take a lot of damage. At their base speed, quad crashers are slightly slower than ATKs, but the quad crasher boost makes up for the difference. Since the boost is such an integral part of this vehicle, we're going to go into a bit more detail. On the quad crasher above the back right wheel, there is a small circle meter that indicates your level of boost. You can use varying amounts of boost, depending on how long you hold the button. The time it takes to recharge is twice as long as the boost duration. On full charge, the maximum time you can boost is about 2.25 seconds, and the time it takes to recharge is 4.5 seconds. If you just tap the boost, it will only use about half the meter. This gives you just over one second of boost, which takes about 2.25 seconds to recharge. First, it's very important to know where the quad crashers spawn. There are a lot of places these new vehicles appear, but many of them are off the beaten path and are hard to stumble upon unintentionally. There are quad crasher spawns near almost every named location on the map, making them great options for speeding up rotations from almost anywhere. Check the description below for a link to the quad crasher spawn map. You can make rotations even faster if you have the new balloons, a quad crasher and a teammate. Five balloons is enough to lift the quad crasher off the ground and keep gaining height. Then, it's up to the driver to steer as best as they can using the boost. It can be hard to navigate though, especially once you build up some momentum. You can achieve a similar effect without balloons or a teammate by using natural height and some precise mid-air boost management. It's possible to fly through the air normally using the boost, but it's much trickier to execute than using the balloons. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. So you probably, you get like six or seven, like six or seven additional boosts, which is actually pretty insane. First, you need a fair amount of height to start from. Starting on a hill or a mountain helps. Then boost off the ledge and pull back. So your boost is facing down. After you stop boosting, push forward to level out your quad crasher. For the subsequent boost, you want to start pulling back again and boost right before your quad is completely vertical. An important part of getting this right is not using your full boost, but short bursts so it can recharge in time. Another advantage of rotating with quad crashers is the ability for a teammate to heal while moving, especially if you're late on your rotation. Arriving in the circle with full shield or full health can be the difference between life and death. If you both need healing, have the first person to heal up on the back, then swap positions so the second teammate can heal up. Quad crashers are really good for things like climbing mountains and getting on natural high ground. One full boost can get you to the top of most mountains in game, and that natural high ground gives you a huge advantage. Not to mention, you will get the high ground much faster than anyone else trying to build up. Just make sure you've positioned yourself at the base of the hill or mountain facing up before hitting the boost, or you might find yourself a bit short on height.
you can get some major air on quad crashers, which has its own advantages. You've probably seen a streamer hit a sick sniper shot while flying through the air on the back of a quad crasher. Well, the flying through the air part isn't actually hard to accomplish. As long as you have some way of getting airborne, you can easily fly through the air Rocket League style. The two time, better than one time, you feel? Back to back, get out of my game, kid! Even just one ramp is enough to get you airborne. You just need to boost, and as soon as you're airborne, pull back on your movement button so the boost is facing downwards. This will push you straight up into the air. You can use this big air for a couple of things. The first being trick shots. All you need is a sniper, preferably bolt action or heavy. The will to hit a crazy trick shot and a dream. If you have a teammate willing to drive, hop on the back of the quad, line up the shot and fire when you're at the peak height. If you're riding solo, you can switch seats to the back once you're high enough. Then, line up the shot and send it. Another way to use this height is with the new glider redeploy feature. Just launch yourself as high as you can, hop out at peak height, and then redeploy your glider for some free movement. Of course, this is great for rotations too. Quad crashers are loud, extremely loud, and there's no way around it. You can, however, try to take advantage of the noise by using it as a distraction. Obviously, opponents are going to hear you coming, but sometimes the noise will cause them to tunnel vision the quad crasher. If you can hop off your quad crasher behind cover so it keeps rolling, you might be able to get a free shot or two on your opponent while they're distracted by the vehicle. The downside is that it doesn't really work without natural cover because the opponent can simply see you get off the quad crasher. The Quad Crasher's most unique feature is the ability to crash through structures when boosting. This is probably the most fun part of driving the new vehicle, although it has limited utility in real games. Still, there are a couple of cool things you could do with this mechanic. Given enough time, you can use it to knock down an entire building by destroying the ground level. While it's not super useful in real games, it is no doubt fun and given the right circumstances, could be used in a real game to pressure somebody camping on top of a tall building and tilted. It's also decent for countering players that are turtling, whether in a one by one house or otherwise, smashing right through somebody's building when they're healing or hiding would scare almost anyone and definitely force some sort of reaction. Just be wary of traps when doing this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. On the right side of the screen, you can click one of the two videos if you want to watch more guides. On the left, hover over the Fortnite Master icon to subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss any of our high quality guides. And feel free to share this video on Reddit if you found this guide useful. From over here at Fortnite Master, my name is The Saved One and we're out. Peace.